Afternoon guys, I uh, thought I'd do a quick video on my actual solar setup here I've got at home. It's um, New, Year's here, New Year's Eve here and it's currently 40.7 degrees so it's uh, an absolute scorcher today. So let's uh, have a look and see what this uh, solar system is doing. Now this is my first system I got put in in 2015. Uh, it's a 4.94 kilowatt system. Um, I've got some Chinese panels and the trusty SMA Sunny Boy inverter. Now if you have a look at the current screen, so basically it's um, currently producing 3.5 kilowatts of power uh, out of this uh, system here. Um, and the day so far so what is it now it's nearly half past 12 is 12.53 kilowatts or 12.54 kilowatts for the day and uh, down the bottom there we've got uh, the total so that is 35.177 megawatts so that's uh, when it went in back in um, I think it was about March 2015 down here we've got the um, isolator switches two of those bad boys there now we'll go outside and have a quick look I'll probably jump up on the roof so you can actually see a little bit better so there's a sort of an outside shot you can see from the front This is a shot of my um, power board on the house, on the side of the house. So this is the front of the house. So basically you've just got some um, bits and pieces there. Um, signs for the, the battery and the PV. Um, that little thing there is for the reposit system. So that's um, how it sends all the info back and forth. But in here, so we've got uh, the reposit board, so um, that's got its own switches there, and that, that reposit system, you can check out one of my other videos in it, so I actually go through the reposit app, uh, it gives you a, a whole load of uh, information. Now I've got three phase power, uh, three phase power here, um, and the AC has its own uh, phase there. Own switches. Uh, I've got a pool. Uh, this here is my meter. So this this meter is really quite hard to read. There's buttons and and stuff. So um, can run through that for you. Uh, look, I, bug, I really, I never really come out here anymore because I've got all the information in the Reposit app. Um, and obviously, you've got, I've also got the Solar Edge app and the SMA app as well. Uh, SMA app's very basic. Uh, the Solar Edge app is pretty good. Um, but then Reposit just sort of brings it all together. So guys, I've ventured up onto the roof. Um, so up here you can see the, these top panels here. These are the original panels I got uh, back in 2015. Um, they're a Chinese brand, haven't really heard much about. Um, but uh, they're a 260 watt panel, but look, uh, they haven't given me any, any trouble at all. So they've been really quite good. Um, now there's 19 of those, so that gives me my 4.94. Now if you have a look down here, so these are the LG uh, Neon panels. So they're a three, 335 watt panel. So I've got a nice row below this original system here. 
So this is a, a nice north facing roof. Now that black stuff down the bottom, that's actually um, the solar pool heating, which I don't actually use much anymore. Um, now if we have a look over here, this, these are the west, uh, west pa facing panels. So um, there's another few panels there, and they're all the LG. So um, the sun sets in the west so I get um, still get a, a reasonable amount of power in the west out of these panels these panels um, the LG's they've been they've been really good I mean when I first got them they were outperforming uh, really outperforming what I'd ever thought I'd get out of them um, so they've been quite good Okay, so this is my solar edge system. So this is the second system I've got installed when I put the battery in. Um, so that's the inverter there. This part here is uh, also part of it. It's got another shut off switch down here. Another whole bunch of shut off switches. And this is the LG Chem battery. So if you have a look on this system here. So what is it? It's now what, nearly 10 to 1 in the afternoon. Um, so what do we got here? We've got uh, 4.3 kilowatts in producing. Uh, and that just gives you a whole bunch of other sort of stuff. Um, the day 10.8, uh, month 922, uh, the year 9 megawatts, and total is for this system here is 20.1 megawatts. Uh, now that's since November 2017. Uh, gives you a whole bunch of information here, but really um, I don't actually use this part of it. Um, I use the uh, Reposa app really for whenever I want to have a look at this sort of stuff. And there we go. So there's, there's a lot of stuff you can cycle through the menus here. So currently exporting 5.6 kilowatts and not importing anything. page guys I thought I'd just throw this on the end for you so this is um, basically what the reposit system is telling me at the moment um, so let's see this is uh, both systems put together now if you want to see more on reposit itself um, have a look in my activity feed and you'll find a, a walkthrough of this uh, reposit app so uh, getting back to it basically um, I've got the two systems as you know the um, SMA Sunny Boy system, that's a 5 kilowatt SMA Sunny Boy inverter with uh, Chinese 260 watt panels. And the other system is the Solar Edge 5 kilowatt inverter with um, LG 335 watt panels. Now, uh, basically, that's 6.37. Now, you're saying well hang on you've got a 5 kilowatt inverter 6.37 kilowatts of panels so in Australia you can actually oversize uh, the solar inverter uh, by I think it's around about 1.6 times so what that does for you is you pick up that extra power in the morning and the afternoon because basically how solar is it works on a power curve so it works 
where the sun is, how it's hitting the panels, if your panels are north facing, west facing. So there's a power curve. So if you have a look at today's power curve, that's a great power curve. Um, now it's not optimal because it's been so hot today. So um, it's really hot at the moment, probably about 41 degrees. So solar panels do actually lose their efficiency the hotter they get. Um, so basically this system here, I've seen it sort of over the nine kilowatt mark um, in peak. Now, if you have a look here, you've got the dotted line. So that's a estimate uh, of what's going to happen for the rest of the day. Now if you have a look at the top uh, above that house usage, that line was fairly stable um, because you know during the day I really only had um, you know the Xbox going, the kids playing Xbox, a couple of fridges um, and we turned the air conditioning on later on the, the day so you'll see it's anticipating that okay we're probably going to do the same thing um, that's what that uh, curved line up is uh, sort of later on what was that after six o'clock uh, we can actually pop over to yesterday and see what the deal was there so if you have a look yesterday um, pretty stable those um, those main periods you can see the pull pumps on uh, there's a couple of TVs were going the whole day and then you've got that big spike um, sort of after six o'clock um, so you know the AC comes on and obviously it does kill the battery because uh, as you know ACs are uh, power hungry appliances <laughs> so um, I pretty much emptied my battery and I started um, using power from the grid. Um, then the um, temperature really started dropping off, so we turned it off uh, a couple of hours later. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Now, please subscribe if you um, if you want to see more of these sorts of videos. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.